Hi everybody, it's Travis, the Pagan Scholar, and this video is going to lean a lot more heavily on the Pagan side than the Scholar side. This video is going to have some woo in it, so if that's a thing that you're not really here for, then you can just click out. I won't be offended. It's okay. So, if you've watched any of my videos about my favorite books and the things that I like to do, my library tour, all of that stuff, you will know that I am a fan of <laughs> Storm Constantine's Ray Through series. This collection is six books. Yes, there's, there's three in here. Anyways, so six books of a fantasy world that the basic premise is humanity has been phased out. Um, this new mutation has occurred where that basically turns men into a new hermaphroditic race called Raythru. And it's very late 80s, goth, thinly veiled, homoerotic fantasy stuff, but Basically, it's a story about who are we in the world, how do we deal with gender, how do we understand who we are as gendered beings. And the thought experiment is only possible because the narrative has removed gender and, and turned it on its head. I am a fan of, of science fiction fantasy, and I feel like Storm Constantine has done an excellent job of exploring these themes for the times that she wrote them in. There's also criticism that the stories are just meandering and plotless, and it's just a bunch of very slow-paced character development with not a lot of resolution and some kind of shitty characters. I can see that too, totally understand. However, I'm, I, I like the story. I can't deny myself what I like, so we're just gonna stick with that. Now I can hear you. You're asking, Travis, where is the pagan in any of this? Where is the woo? Trust me. <laughs> When I found the Grimoire de Hara, book one, Kaimana, this is a grimoire based off of the Raythru mythos. <laughs> this is written by Storm Constantine. This is a spell book. This is an intro to a magical system based off of a science fiction fantasy novel. She is upfront. She says, like, this is a fantasy story. This is fiction. Like, she's not claiming to be a guru or a prophet. That I found incredibly refreshing because a lot of authors of esoteric texts will, you know, build up this, this ethos of, like, the ascended masters departed their wisdom to me. She's like, no, 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 I, I, I made this up. I, it came from my head, I collaborated with a few other people, and this is the system that the Raythru would use if you are into spirit platforms, chaos magic, things like that. Have fun. So... As a fangirl, I just, I bought the book, I ordered it, and it's... That's why I'm making this video. It's it's kind of defies some descriptions, and other description, it's like, oh, that's what it is. <laughs> yes, this is a spell book, but this is also accidentally a coloring book, <laughs> because the pictures in it, they're fun, they're cool, they're also just like, they're, they're kind of like, anime homoerotic. Um, no discredit to the artist at all. I, I think they're great. It's just not what I was expecting to see in a spell book. So fun. That's cool. This is ultimately Wicca with a, a new coat of paint on it. So painting the peacock, you know, the peacock is already beautiful. Why do you have to paint it? Wicca is a beautiful system. I mean, everybody likes to sneer at Wicca and look down their nose at it and be like, oh, you're, you're Wiccan? You know, like, shut up. Wicca is a fine and valid form of practice. It's okay. This is Wicca, but with Raythru characters. <laughs> so, um, you know how everyone's like kind of okay, but also kind of not okay with the, the creation myth of the, the goddess and her son, lover, consort, the god? You know, it's like, we understand it's not literal, or it is, but it's not incest because it's deities and things like that. Well, it becomes problematic for the Raythru mythos because that creation myth is used with Raythru, which use masculine pronouns, even though they're hermaphroditic, the father and son consort, which, again, we're not taking it literally, but there's that taboo that we're already crossing and it's like what are you doing so anyways as far as the actual like spell work and things in this book it is all 100 percent guided meditation it is this is basically a book of meditations that you can do with the trigger of ray through as a way to really invest you into what you're meditating on basically you initiate yourself into 
wraith them. You have a wraith body and you spiritually or astrally project into this body in meditation. And in meditation, you go and do various things of the wraith world mythos. There is an initiation and then there is a an education of the Dihara, which are the gods of the Ray Through, and then after that there is a um, a Wheel of the Year cycle. It's it's all very much Wicca, except just through the Ray Through mythos. And then the last bit is about I think I haven't gotten to the the last part, but I'm pretty sure it's making your own spirits or something like that, creating your own deities, finding your deities. You know, whatever. I'm not judging. I think this is a really fun book, and it's really fantastic that Storm Constantine is like, guys, I made this up. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's any less valid, it's just she is 100% owning the fact that this is from a fictional story, it comes from a place of fiction, and I think that's like already one up on the Bible, or, <laughs> or take your pick of any other spiritual text. Ultimately, all religions were at one point new, and this is, it's just a, a system that one can use to better themselves. So I think that's great. I think that's wonderful. And I think that we should all respect that. So if I were to be asked, do you recommend the Grimoire de Hara? No, I don't. Unless you have read all of the Ray Through Mythos books, which is a trial, you're not going to understand or appreciate anything in this book. That sounds elitist. It's not. It's, it's, a precaution, I'm, I'm telling you, like, you don't want to read this unless you are 100% fully invested in the Ray Through Mythos, because if you're not, one, you're not going to know what she's talking about, two, you're not going to understand the... the baggage, the implications, the unspoken undercurrents of, of character development and energy that she's talking about. She has created an entire world, uh, a universe even, of, of Ray Through, and it's very rich, but it takes a long time to get through. And to start out with this without having read any of the books, um, I, I can't even think of a metaphor enough. That, that's like training your toddler to swim in the ocean, in the middle of the ocean. So um, you're, you're going to drown and then sad things will happen. Um, so yeah, don't pick this up until you've read a couple of the books. In fact, this actually has spoilers in it uh, to the books, so if that's a thing for you, don't read it until you've read all the books. So yeah. Okay guys, that is more than enough woo for me for today. I don't normally talk that openly about magic. Uh, it is a very touchy subject in academia, and I mean like I'm not in academia anymore, it's fine, but I still want to be a part of those dialogues. And yeah, it's, it's just, it's a touchy subject. And if you want more information on that or the insider's scoop as to why I don't openly talk about practicing my spirituality for the public to, to consume, you can like, you can hit me up on Twitter or something like that. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you have any um, questions, comments on Grimoire Hara, if you're a fan of Raythrough, if you're like, what the fuck is that? Please comment below. I like being nerdy and talking about the Ray Through Mythos. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, everybody. A like is appreciated, a subscription even more so. And as always, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again.